This is Insider Medicine in 60 from Colorado. Popcorn can cause choking, but can it also cause breathing problems? A man who ate two daily bags of popcorn per day and often inhaled the aroma because he loved it has been diagnosed with bronchiolitis obliterans, a rare lung condition. The condition has also been called popcorn lung and has been seen in workers exposed to dicetel, an ingredient used to make popcorn buttery. The levels of dicetel measured from his house were similar to those seen in popcorn factories. From Texas, activity of a gene may determine if you are fat or slim. The high activity of the gene adipose, or ADP, was seen in slim organisms whether they were worms or mice, and low activity in those who were obese. Expect development of drugs targeting this gene. From Columbus, while college athletes may be considered to be the epitome of health, they may be prone to reactive airways. A study of over 100 college athletes shows that nearly 40% had exercise-induced airway narrowing, despite the fact that nearly 90% had no history of asthma. The condition is also seen commonly in Olympic athletes. And finally from Oklahoma, add pets to the long list of those affected by smoking. New research shows a higher risk of cancer in cats of smokers. In particular, the risk of mouth cancer is high, which may be related to the grooming habits of cats. Carcinogens from secondhand smoke get on carpets and are transferred to the hair of the cats, which are then licked. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sherman.